President Ekufuado has terminated the appointment of Yao Kwakwa, the Managing Director of the Ghana Airport Company Limited. We can now speak with our colleague, Parker Wilson, who's been following the Transport Committee of Parliament, uh, with, who the, with, uh, with which the uh, airport company uh, manager, Kwakwa, was having a, uh, was touring with. Uh, Parker, what has the MD Yao Kwakwa been telling you? Hello, Paka. What yeah, more can you that. tell us about the sack of Yao Kwakwa? Well, so we took information, of course, from a letter signed by the medical staff responsible for transport that he's been sacked. So this morning, we were together with the Committee of Roads and Transport on a summarization version of the McDonald's application. And we know that McDonald and Ghana Airport Company in the last few weeks have been at each other's throats and the company indicated that McDonald should suspend its operations and also the intended launch of the aviation of private jet aviation. And so there, we asked Mr. Papa a direct question about whether he is in the know or he has any knowledge of his dismissal. He was playing his mind. In fact, he started very confused. The staff of Ghana Airport Company Limited who were there also were very confused. And so he told us that he did not have any knowledge of his dismissal. He came to work this morning. He's working as the MD of Ghana Airport. And so when he returns to his office, he will ascertain for himself whether indeed the claim that you are making is true. But I indicated to him that I had a letter with me, reading a letter to him, but he insisted that he wasn't going to comment on the letter for now. He wants to go back to his office and make the necessary calls to understand whether a decision has been taken from the president to sack him. And so that was how he reacted to his old dismissal. In fact, the deputy minister responsible for uh, transport, um, uh, Hassan Tampoli, was also there. And he failed to confirm or deny to us that Mr. Parker had sacked. And his point was that for now, we need to focus on the reason at which we are at McDonald's Aviation, which is to inspect the facility. And so when we are done later today, they can give us uh, a befitting response as to whether indeed uh, Mr. Papa has been sacked or not. But we know and can confirm that indeed he has been dismissed by the president. So, Paka, whilst at this, what was his demeanor when the news first broke to him? He looked very shocked, very surprised. I mean, he was very confused. When we, when we asked him the question, he was even struggling to find the words to to put together and explain to us the reason he has no knowledge of the dismissal. So obviously this had an impact on him at the very minute that we, we, we made him aware of the dismissal because Aisha, you come to work in the morning, you're working in the midst, in, in a very crucial working hours with the a committee on roads and transport. And you just get the information from the media that you've been, you've been dismissed. Obviously it would have an impact on you. So it was clear that it was confused. He sounded very confused in his voice. He was struggling to even get the words to put together to, to, to speak to us. And he, he, he looked very, very disappointed. So later, he, he rushed to his office. In fact, I wanted to follow him to, to understand whether indeed uh, the confirmation is true. But the airport security denied me access into his office. And so um, I, I decided to then leave. But what I can say is that upon receiving the message, he looked very confused and disappointed. Parker Wilson is our man in Parliament and also monitoring this for us. We have details for you in our subsequent bulletins.